I like to see the Jets go out there with a tough schedule, pl- l- little under the radar, and go out there and let their play do the talking. Yeah. The Jets have spent all summer, summer telling us how great they're going to be. Uh, For uh, a franchise uh, that's not done a damn thing in 100 years, I'm that's not the right approach. I'm going to push back. Because did the Jets invite Hard Knocks into their facility? They no, they no. Jet, no, no, they couldn't because oh, they, they tried. Could've. They could have. They were like, no, we don't want these. Okay, thank goodness. Because some of these things you were saying, it had me wondering, is it really you? But okay, with the name tag, I got it. Hello, okay, you Stephen, are Stephen A. Smith. A. Smith. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, just making ahead. sure. Um, no, the Jets didn't That's invite Hard Knocks into their facility. They were told Hard Knocks is showing up. So they had to open the doors. The questions that the Jets are asked week in and week out are literally about the expectations that the outside world has for them. Internally, they believe they can be good enough to win a Super Bowl if they put in the work daily. But the questions are coming from us. The talking has been coming from the outside world, and they are answering the questions. So if you want Sauce Gardner, if you say to Sauce Gardner, you think you guys are good enough to win the Super Bowl? I expect Sauce Gardner to say, yeah, that's our mission. And looking at around this room, yeah, we're talented enough to do it. I have no, pro- like, I have no problems with guys saying we believe in ourselves. Yes, they have to prove it. But the same reason, Jameer Gibbs, rookie running back for the Lions, says, I can rush for 1,000 yards, 500 as a rookie. Is that boastful? Josh Allen saying that we can be something special. Is that boastful? Well, they've done no, it, though. No, the Bills no. have been good. The Bills have been good, but we expect them to win a Super Bowl, right? Have they done that? No. No, but so, they've been so, good. So my point is just this. People, competitors, that's what you want. You want dogs who think they're good. Why are we afraid of it? I'm Why not, are we afraid of the, them talking? Just because it's the think, Jets? I personally Stephen think, A? Yes. I personally think your argument is very profound, but you're not appreciating how profound it is, and you're not putting the twist on it that it deserves. What you are saying to the men out there, what Kimberly Martin oh, just no, broke I down, can't. is that you have to believe in you. That's what she said. So when you dudes out there and you got confidence, right? And somebody like Molly comes along and, 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 and others and they be like, yo, you're cocky. Yeah, that, that's arrogant. Now, pause. what Kimberly pause. said is I don't like you pause. can't expect people no. to believe in you if you no. don't believe in yourself. No, because no, one that's thing, we, I don't took want, from one it, thing we don't want is a cocky that's what guy. I took okay. from Confidence, that's a different thing. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was saying. They just, get, they that's just it. gave me permission, I don't even like cocky They guys. just gave me we permission. We don't want cocky. I didn't we say cocky. Co- right, you're right. I didn't mean cocky like that, but I'm just talking about a belief in yourself. That's what they said. Okay. And clearly, I haven't believed in myself enough. I like, you had to be very game. confident to wear that suit today, right? I remember Bill Belichick never done hard knocks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.